What is up guys, it is the Citrus Pan here today, and I'm coming at you with my 300 subscribers special. I want to thank you for 300 subscribers, and I'm going to give you a tour of my room and what my setup looks like. So here we go. Alright, so let's start where the magic happens. We got my Blue Snowball microphone. I actually have this set up to record because I'm just about to record some of EdgeQuest Let's Plays. So you guys can look forward to that. Now, usually this stand is only used if I'm doing live comms on my PS3. I just carry that over there and my I take off this from the stand and move it on this one. And then I can do live comm really easily over on my PS3. So that's how I do that, if you're wondering. And the pop filter really helps with uh, the popping on the microphone, so I have that. I haven't been using that for a long time, but hey, I just found it in my basement, and I thought I would start using it. Anyways, this is my phone case, for whatever reason. I'm showing you that. Uh, Vacuum Man Volume 7, and a sketchbook. I'll get into my manga collection later. That's just because I'm rereading the series. Um, I've got my phone right here. I've got my TV remote, which I don't know why I'm showing you guys a TV remote, because this is the key to making good YouTube videos, guys. you got to have the Dynax TV remote. If you don't have that, I'm sorry, but you're not going to succeed in YouTube. i got my DJ mixer right here. Now, I'm actually selling this soon. I used to mix music, but not so much anymore. I've got my CDs back there of all my music, if you guys are interested in that. I don't even know if you can see it very well. Um, also over here we got my Death Note collection box set. I'll show you, I actually have all the manga over on my manga shelf, so I'll get to that in a minute. And let's come down here. I'm actually going to try to have some light here. I'm going to pull out my PS3 so you can actually see it. It's got the uh, Skull Candy logo, kind of like a custom PS3 with, I say it's custom, but it's really just a bunch of stickers on a normal PS3. Uh, I got the Citrus Panda logo, which is actually, it's not, it just says Citrus Panda and then it has the Enjoy logo. An Android sticker again, and then the Apple logo. You can probably see back in there, it's GameCube controller. And I don't know why I shortened the right word controller, but who cares. I've got some PS3 games. Probably my, my favorites being Naruto. Well, Naruto Shippuden and Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Occasionally, sometimes it gets uh, annoying. And Dark Souls, probably my two favorite games over here. Um, also... Resident Evil 4 and Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, those are my two favorite GameCube games, so I keep those right there. I've got some other ones in a stack right there, but like, you can't really see them, they're back in there. Anyways, so let's go over here, i got my bed, and uh, a pillow with no pillow slip. Don't know why, I probably have to go get a new pillow slip soon, because I forgot to put one on. Anyways, uh, i got some stuff over there. i got this Lego thing that I built a long time ago to just build it for fun, but then I use it to put like all my chargers and stuff in it now, so that's pretty good. Um, just a bunch of random stuff. I'm, and, uh, oh yeah, Pac-Man mug. My grandfather had this, I think it's like a beer mug or something, I don't even know, but it looks really cool, so... Eh, regardless, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a homemade tonfa, but I cracked when I was actually making it. I made it at school in my tech ed room, but it's homemade. And I, it cracked, though, so it doesn't work very well. Um, this is my manga collection. I'm going to go through this kind of quickly and tell you a little bit about each one. Attack on Titan, Volume 1. Now, uh, supposedly this is supposed to be like the best thing since sliced bread. I enjoyed the manga a lot better than the anime. I watched like three episodes of the anime. And, to be honest, I don't see what all the hype is about. I mean, yeah, it's an original idea. It's pretty good. But I still like other manga and anime better, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I just can't get into it. The manga was good, though. I might buy some more volumes. I've got 1 through 19 of Bakuman. 7 is over there on top of my sketchbook. Um, 20, I do have. I have it pre-ordered. However, it's not here yet because it's coming mid-August, I think. It comes out. And the graphic novel 20 will be out then. Now, it's already finished. The series was finished a while back. But the graphic novel just isn't out yet. I've got Trigon, which I have not even started yet. Which I need to start because it's supposedly a really good manga. And I haven't actually delved into that yet. But I need to do that soon. Um, Blue Exorcist, I actually bought the, fir the first two volumes of Blue Exorcist and Attack on Titan all at the same time. To see what series I wanted to actually read, and I decided Blue Exorcist was a little bit better, in my opinion. And it was a pretty great series. I bought 6 and 7 on, like, I think it was Monday? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it was probably Monday. And I uh, haven't even opened either two, either one of those, because the thing is, I'm rereading re back in, as I said earlier in the video. So, I'm probably going to finish that before reading anything else. 
Now, this is my favorite manga ever, Death Note. It's by the same creators as Bakuman. Tsukumi Oba is the writer, and Takeshi Obita is the artist. The best combo you can ask for, in my opinion. The art is better than anything you see in Shonen Jump, just because I think they can split the story and the art, maybe. I don't know. But uh, the artwork is great, the stories are great, and it's almost like when you read these two people's work, it's like reading a manga, it's a cross between a manga and a novel, but it's, it's, a, it's a good mix, because there's lots of dialogue, unlike a lot of manga out there. Um, also, it's 1 through 12, plus the special volume 13, it has a bunch of, like, profiles on characters, and, I don't know, like, just, there's like 50 pages of stuff that was never actually put into the magazine, and it's actually pretty cool. It's before like, Yagami got the Death Note. Someone else had it. And Ryuka's in it. it Ryuka looks a little bit younger though in it. Um, I don't know how Shinigami's age or anything. Uh, this is actually the rule book. It also came with the box set of Death Note. So that's pretty much it with my manga collection. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm trying to turn around the camera here. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for 300 subscribers again, and I'm going to get to recording some Adventure Quest Let's Plays here soon, so see you for now.